Okay, so I'm going to go over how to build some side context in your model. So uh, you'll see here, uh, this is 1700 Market, one of our current projects. Um, so I've got a bunch of different surfaces here, and these are actually all just floors. Um, so if I click on this, you see it says floor, and it's called just a sidewalk. And really what's going on in here is it's really just a simple, you know, four inch default floor. Um, you know, we could assign whatever material we wanted to it, but that's really all that's going on there. It's just a four inch floor. Um, this plaza is its own floor, and really the important distinction here is that what's going on is we're creating these little wedges at each of our, oops, at each of our intersections. And that's going to help you to deal with some of the slopes and things that are happening across your site. So this floor here is actually at an angle. Um, and so if we take a quick look at maybe an elevation view, you can see here we have uh, this first floor datum is at zero. And then at this point here, the sidewalk is down by six inches, minus six. And then if we go over here, all the way to this end, this sidewalk is at plus eight and a half inches. And so what we do to make this slope is we create a floor by just sketching a floor. So let me go back to the 3D view so you can see it. What we would do is we would just create a floor, architectural floor, we pick sidewalk, we you know draw a rectangle, whatever you want to do. And then once you're done with that, you're going to add a slope arrow in order to slope the floor. So I've already done that, so I'm just going to go in here and edit this boundary. And then now you can see here I have the slope arrow, and I drew it side to side. Once you click on the slope arrow, you can tell it at the tail I want it to be minus six inches, and at the head I want it to be plus eight and a half inches. All right, so that looks good. So once I've done that, I can then copy that sidewalk over here change the boundary of it as I need, edit this type, oh sorry, no, uh, edit the boundary, my mistake, click on the arrow, and then just add, like deduct six inches from each of these values in order to have it be down six inches. The last piece is to draw these walls that go around the, the, uh, the sidewalk, the curb, right? So these are actually drawn as walls. And it's called just basic wall curb. If we take a look at the type of it, it's just a six inch wall, pretty much just a generic wall. So if we kind of look at the side view here, it goes down below the, uh, the level of the street as a regular curb would, and then it comes up and then is, is flush with the sidewalk. And then you're gonna get that, that second line here. There's a bunch of different ways to go about building site context, but I found that this is pretty much the most predictable and the easiest. Um, and so, again, the reason that we're doing this pie shape here at each of our intersections is that if this sidewalk here needed to slope down in a way, we wouldn't be having a really strange condition where, you know, the sidewalk is sloping as it kind of approaches this curve, and that gets really difficult to manage. Um, as for how to match the top of the wall that is following this curve, you can see here this wall technically goes up to one feet, one foot above uh, the base level. But I edited the profile here, and you can see here I can take this and drag it. I can use AL for align, click the top of the surface I want to align to, in this case the sidewalk, click this, and then I aligned it. And I could lock it if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that because in general it's good just to kind of let these things flex on their own if you need to. Finish that. And then there you can see there, now this, this sidewalk is sloping about a foot side to side, and then this, the wall is carrying along just with it. Uh, the last piece is going to be these kind of street intersections, and those are handled in a lot of the same way that um, these, these uh, pie-shaped sidewalk intersections are. Right. I can draw it out to the extent that it's flat, but then as soon as I want to go to a slope, I'm going to need to do a different surface. So in this case, I have this nice and flat, and then here we need to drop a, a, a couple inches. So if I take a look at what's going on here, I have another slope arrow. It's sloping, 
at the foot at the tail minus one foot down to minus one foot six. So it's dropping six inches from here to here. And once you've done one side of it, you know you can very easily just mirror the whole assembly. Like if I wanted to take all of these items here, this, this, you know, this, this. That one's a little tricky because it kind of goes back into the side, but we'll let it ride. You can grab all the walls and such, and then just mirror them across the street once you've built the street in order to create the other side. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's sort of how you go about. Um, you know, building site context.